Hi guys, this is part 7 of the Python Turtle tutorial and in this video we're going to learn how to break our program down into smaller pieces using subroutines. So back to a program which is very familiar to us now to draw a simple square. We have the turtle.forward and the turtle.write commands and we're repeating those four times using a for loop. Now loops are really useful if I want to repeat something many times there and then. Like if I wanted five squares to be drawn, for example, I could put a loop around this to make it repeat five times. But sometimes I want to repeat the same code in different parts of my program or at different times. I might want to draw one square now, but then use the same code later on. And I can't really use a loop to do that, but I can use a subroutine. So to do that, I'm going to use a new command, def, which just stands for define. And then I put the name of the subroutine. The name can be more or less anything, just like a variable name can, but it should be something meaningful. At the end of the name of the subroutine, I put some empty brackets and I put a colon. And just like everything else we've seen so far, I need to show which parts of the code are inside the subroutine by selecting them and indenting them. And I'm going to make a comment at the top there using the hash symbol, just to remind myself that that's what I'm doing. Comments are ignored completely by the computer, but they are really helpful if you are coming back to look at your code later on. Now, if I run this, you will see something really important happens. Okay, that wasn't a trick. You should have seen nothing. One of the key points about subroutines is that subroutines do not run unless we explicitly call them. So, because I've defined a subroutine now, but I haven't called it, it doesn't get run, and my square doesn't get drawn. So the way to call the subroutine is simply to use its name, like this. Draw square, and then some empty brackets. And if I run the program now, it will draw the square. There we go. So the really powerful thing about this is any time I use that subroutine draw square, I can draw another square. So let's go back to um, a command we learned a while ago, pen up, I don't want to draw. And then two new commands, turtle.setx and turtle.sety. As you might imagine, that sets the x and y coordinate of the turtle. And then I'm going to put the pen down again. And then I'm going to call my subroutine again, draw square. And you can probably guess what's going to happen here. There we go, we have one square drawn in the original position, the turtle moves to the new coordinates, and then it draws the next square. That, of course, is a really simple example, but with that subroutine, we can now draw as many squares as we want, anywhere we want, just by typing draw square. Subroutines also let you send values to them using something called parameters. So after the subroutine name, I'm putting the word size, that's just a variable. Again, I could call it anything I want, but size is a reasonably sensible description. And I'm going to replace the 100 in the turtle.forward line with the word size. And then finally, wherever I call that subroutine now, so down here on line 10, I'm going to pass it a number. In this case, I'm going to pass it the number 100. And then on line 15, I'm going to pass it the number 50. And what's going to happen there is, on line 10, and what's going to happen there is that on line 10, the 100 gets passed to the subroutine, and size becomes 100, because that's the value I gave to it. So it will draw a square of size 100. On line 15, I'm passing the value 50. So the parameter size becomes 50, and therefore it will draw a square of size 50. And if you don't believe me, here we go. There we go. Clearly the second square is smaller than the first square. And I'm just going to add a comment there to remind myself of what I've done. We we'll use a parameter to define the size of the square. I can pass as many parameters as I want to a subroutine. I just separate them with commas. And I have to remember that they go on the def line. And also I have to pass the same number when I call the subroutine. Okay, so that was quite a quick overview of subroutines and parameters. 
but it should be enough to help you do the exercises which I'm going to leave you with now.